and you want and you want to keep your brushes clean and uh, this brush with a little red on it I'm just going to scrape off here get the excess red off and then give it a sweep with the rag here to set aside for that purpose sort of pull it off that excess paint I'm do that before I put in the turpentine so that the turpentine isn't completely overloaded with pigments this is turpentine I've been using for um, a while now in the course of painting here and uh, then I will give it another pass on the rag I'll wring it out here a little bit back in the jar and give it a pass on the rag and the turpentine showing you know still a little paint in it so we'll definitely clean that brush again but world of difference from this here to that so you want to keep it clean and you can see a little bit of the reddish stain on the brush that's not a big problem but when your, brussel, when your bristles um, start to stiffen and uh, the brush does not have any of that springiness in it anymore it becomes more of a stick than a brush and yes turpentine will soften it to a degree but after a while you can't get it back and brushes aren't cheap and you don't want to have to buy more than you want to